The Fascinating World of Honey Production Foraging, worker bees leave the hive and fly to flowers to collect nectar. Nectar is a sugary liquid found in the glands of flowers. Bees use their long, tube-like tongues, proboscis, to suck up the nectar from the flower's nectarines. Nectar Collection Bees store the collected nectar in their honey stomachs, a separate compartment from their regular stomach. This allows them to transport the nectar back to the hive. These enzymes start the process of breaking down the complex sugars in the nectar into simpler sugars, such as glucose and fructose. This enzymatic action helps to partially digest the nectar and also reduces its water content. Honey Regurgitation Back at the hive, the worker bees regurgitate the partially digested nectar into the mouths of other worker bees. The nectar is passed from bee to bee, allowing the enzymes to continue breaking down the sugars. Evaporation and ripening the bees spread the nectar in the honeycomb cells. They fan their wings to promote air circulation within the hive, which causes the excess water in the nectar to evaporate. This reduction in water content is a critical step in transforming nectar into honey. Bees continue this process until the nectar's moisture content reaches around 17 to 18 percent. Capping, once the moisture content is reduced to the desired level, Bees cap the honeycomb cells with beeswax. This sealing prevents further moisture absorption and protects the honey from contaminants. Ripening and maturation, the capped cells are left undisturbed for some time, allowing the honey to further mature and develop its characteristic flavor and consistency. During this process, certain enzymes continue to break down sugars, enhancing the honey's properties. Harvesting, beekeepers carefully remove the capped honeycomb frames from the beehive. They extract the honey by using a centrifugal force or by crushing and straining the comb, depending on the method used. Filtering and bottling, the extracted honey may be filtered to remove any remaining impurities or bits of beeswax. Once filtered, the honey is ready for bottling. Enjoyment. The final product is the delicious honey that we use for cooking, baking, and sweetening various foods and beverages. It's important to note that the color, flavor, and aroma of honey can vary significantly based on the types of flowers the bees collected nectar from. Different floral sources result in different types of honey, each with its own unique characteristics. Thanks for watching.